Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah! It's time for Bruise Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here is Huck and Big Nate. You know, I, I haven't figured this out quite yet. Oh, uh, yeah, he's still behind on top of the. Welcome out. Welcome into another edition of Bruce Day Tuesday brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store. We'll have a headset on. I never have a headset on. So so bear with me. I, we're, I feel like we're about to, you know, take off in, in a jet or something. We, You know, Kyle, are you listening out there, buddy? Where's your jet, man? Let's take another ride. This dude dropped me 5,000 feet. He's like, you want to you feel something? Yeah. And he said, all right, just hold on. He just dropped 5,000 feet in his jet. And... The G force of that, yeah. Thank you. It coughs you up a little bit. He's like, yeah. yeah, my son was in his 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 Pepsi was in midair. It was just floating for a minute. And I was like, good God. Anyway, so this is Chris Hodges, Hi. founder, founder. <laughs> Without of further ado, Floyd Festival. Hello, we're we're dropping five thousand feet real quick, but we so like it, to dip low and and fly high. So but, it, to go along with that, I was told by a jet pilot that if you're gonna do something like that, yep. and you're afraid you throw up, eat bananas because they taste the same both ways. I was just so told to go. put bananas in my nectarine bags to ripen, ripen them up, man. Uh, that see, that, that works like thing. a charm, actually. Really? What, your advice, though, sounds like we just shouldn't eat bananas. Bananas are weird. Right? Eat anything They're if so you're gonna mushy, get... I hate them. Yeah, now, we are, we are all monkeys here, so That's I guess, right. you know, bananas are part of the gig right. know, on planet Earth, as well as beer and good libations. So right. anyway, here we are. Right. We're going to find out about... You know, this thing's been going on how long? 20 years, 21 years? 20, 21 years. Yeah. It's been a minute, two I mean, decades. One, one year I was here and it was two years. You know, one year yeah, I was here and I, I couldn't believe it was still going on. No, I'm just I've kidding. heard that too. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I think you've made it a success. Yeah, you know, without loving the dream. The thing I always say to people about success, without loving the dream, you know, there's that Robert right. Hunter thing from uh, the, the Dead, right? Without loving the dream, it'll never come true. You maintain love and passion and zest for anything. I think you will see it through to success. Absolutely. Yeah, man. I think you've seen this one through. So we're looking forward. We took a year off. Nobody wanted to, but oh, we did. No. Oh. And now we're back. Oh. And we're going to we're gonna party like it's <laughs> 2021, That's baby. Right, baby. 2021. So, Chris, I actually want to ask you something because this has been a running trend. Uh, of course, this year feels very different because we had to take that hiatus. What are you most excited for this year? You know, uh, seeing all my people. Every single person has said that exact same thing. Seeing and the people so and nice. this is the vibe of being around people. And when you're when you're shut off from people, yeah, it's kind of cool. You know, you get to like take a break and just kind of go in and everything, but only for so long. Yeah. Right. And right. the reason why we do Floyd Fest is to celebrate being with people. So right. that's what I'm most excited about getting back to and seeing all the, you know, the familiar faces, the new faces, all my family and friends. You know, there's like there's been a tight posse of us, like four of us that have been kind of behind the scenes keeping this thing going for the past year and a half. But it's the excitement of brown people. I mean, I've been a rock and roller my whole life. I love being on stage and I love to entertain people and be around people. So, yeah, that's it. Family. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, it's just such a great thing. And I think this is I was talking to Sam earlier and it's this is like the first major festival. Mm -hmm. after the COVID. I think it's pretty exciting that here we are in the mountains of Virginia, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Truly. Because I've moved away and back several Same times. here, man. Everywhere, every time I travel out, I come back. you got to come back. Good Lord, this is beautiful. And um, I'm fortunate to be up on a mountain this year. Amen. And, man. Cheers uh, to that. We're going to be cheering a lot here stop and see, this evening. See the here. Huckster. Yes, sir. I'm uh, over near the kid, the children's universe, which is uh, Huck starting a daycare. By the but way, no, no. But so I, if you, in case you're wondering, I'm just gonna say I don't think that uh, that order, you know, Huck's I Playhouse. We're, we're be, calling it Huck's I Playhouse. I can be that close to the children. I just have to be careful. Nothing, no, nothing like Pee Wee. We're not gonna bring him up. Okay. No, so I, anyway, I got a granddaughter, and she keeps me straight. So it'll all be good. <laughs> I have actually, a daughter who keeps me straight. Thank yeah, God. I started with the, you know, the wife and the daughter. Now with the granddaughter, she's another two are mad because now the granddaughter's the boss. Well, right? this is the third time here. You wanna yeah. get this one right, boy? Well, I am. I am. <laughs> I'm gonna do what they say. I have learned my lesson. Oh my God. There is a year long wait list for Hux <clears throat> Daycare. There is. So <laughs> it's very, very popular. It's in demand, people. You know, if your child is difficult to deal with, we have the barley wine. You know, send we have to, something for Send them child. to Huck's. Yeah. Huck's house. Huck's, Huck's house of child something. <laughs> neglect, perhaps. <laughs> Huck's something. house of neglect. No, yeah. that's not what it it's is, man. You're really selling it, man. Well, I might, uh, Huck's I house might of fun, fall right? asleep. 
right? I, oof, yeah. I might fall asleep from what happened. I just, oh. I just turned 50 yesterday, man. Oh. What in the world, man? I threw down pretty good. I I, I, uh, I represented pretty well. Well, so. I just had a birthday a couple weeks ago. I'm 66. Hey, man. man. Oh, cheers. 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 So that that actually blows my mind. I, I would not put you a day over like I, I my age, thirties. Like so he's not saying that. Awesome. So, so, so awesome. you're living life well. I'm trying. I, I honestly the first time you told me your age we can go back to the Bruce Day Tuesday archive. The first time you told me your age on air, I did say there's no way in hell. Yeah, you did say that. So I, I get that a lot. Well, Depending on whether it's early in the morning with the hangover. That's exactly right. Late. Everyone yesterday was like, I can't believe you're 50. Are you 32? I was like, you, mm, no, man, I'm 25. But my sister today, I was I was actually running, trying to like sweat it out yesterday, to sweat out all that whiskey that I was, I was putting down. And she was like, hey, what's up, old man? You're looking 50. I was like, you are the only one who has said that, Keller. Hey, Thanks a lot. Hey, you I, know? Was, I was running. No, no, wait. I was drinking. Sorry. <clears throat> I knew I, it was something like running. No, I started yeah, running. And, and, yeah. and biking again. Man, the pandemic just laid me out, man. It was not a pretty picture. So yeah. I'm trying to tighten it back up. I've been I, doing a little walking. I, I hiked up the Cascades the other day. Good, 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 good. So I'm going to hike here. Now I'm going to do that I, Rocky Knob hike. Do the Rocky Knob yeah. hike, the Moonstopper Trail. That's like a 2.2 mile loop around yeah, the entire that's site. It's a good one. That's a I'm good all one. over it. Yep. I'm going to do that. So I, I feel like we, we are remiss in, in not mentioning beers on Bruce Day Tuesday. So let's what? talk beers and then let's talk history of Floyd Fest. Sure. Uh, does that work for Sounds everyone? Sounds good. So I've got the uh, three-notched 40-mile IPA. We are actually on the three-notched Viewing deck over Hill Holler. And we're going to have yes, someone from go. three notched on shortly. And Hill Holler stage is the throwdown stage. Billy Strings Thursday. Goose on Friday, Super Buffalo Mountain Jet. This is the stage. This is the Rager stage right here. It, it truly is. Everyone always talks about it. Like, it's beautiful. I feel, I feel like like the main – Dreaming Creek main stage, amazing. You get some sure. great acts. But sure. this is really like yeah, the atmosphere. Yeah, I spend more time here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean absolutely. everything from Nathaniel Rateliff to Phil Lesh. Yeah. yeah. I mean you name it, man. The, what, what happens on this stage is uh, – should not just stay on this stage. Let me just say that. It just should go. be sung to the world. Okay. Sorry. Hey. So I'm drinking the can of bliss. I lost the can. Oh, there it is. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> See, I've been drinking. We've been doing a show all day. With all and I been, day. We've been up here all it day drinking. It does. <laughs> it does, man. But that's what we're here I'm for. I'm warmed up now. So the, okay. the can of bliss, and you've got a. Uh, we're here to celebrate. Uh, you've got a white claw, I believe. Don't say that, man. Huh? I know. <laughs> well, you said. <laughs> Don't say that, man. You said that, I needed something light, you know, to right. get through. There man. is no shame in I white claw. I drink the claw. All no, the white claw is amazing. I drink it all the time. It's just that, and, and, and God bless them for coming on board. Now I feel like a schmuck, man. No, um, no, no. I got to go, guys. This is oh, too much. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. This is delicious, okay? Yeah. And it's Doing the trick, hair of the well, dog right here. Late, we'll be late IPA in the day. And in a minute. I'll be IPA in all it's, night long. There you okay? go. There it's you so go. low in sugar. There's like no hangover. Right. I'm not. There's. I, I'm. You I'm know what? I, you know what I actually use white claw for is is a mixer for my mezcal, and right. that is it's delicious. Good. I feel like, like on the rocks, just a little touch. If you, if you do yeah, the lime. Good. The lime in it too. You, yeah. you, I mean, you got to get the lime. Not to uh, get myself in trouble, but you know the the ultimate white girl drink is vodka and white claw. There it is. You know, but I think so, that all races should try I'm that. just it's one hair away different. from being a white girl. It, there you go. One hair is what they say, man. Or an just, ounce of vodka. Or two. Yeah, two. Uh, now I see. Now so, I see how it is. So, what, 20, 21 years, it's, it's kind of vague thanks to uh, uh, the pandemic. What, what I, I mean, the what background on out? Floyd Fest, what stands out to you throughout all this? You have to tell us the general. Through what, the so pandemic? No, now. through Floyd Fest. No, Floyd Fest. All, all these years. Oh, the, the perseverance of the dream. Yeah. Period, man. I mean, that's what sets us apart from other, other event. I always make fun of it. I always say a lot, a lot of promoters get in this business because they weren't popular in high school. And, you know, it wasn't that I was popular in high school or not popular in high school. I just do it for different reasons. You know, Floyd Fest is about celebrating what community can be with music and art as the backdrop and the kind of the, the impetus, but it's about the people in the community and seeing how we can raise the standard of being, you know, ourselves most first and foremost, because out in society every day, we're wearing these masks, we're wearing these, you know, situations where we got to get through life and all this stuff. And Floyd Fest, you know, is, is kind of a representation of what I learned when I came up here 30 some years ago and lived on the communes up here. You know, I, I yeah. learned from, a Court Basin, one of the greatest artists that I've ever met, and I've met, you know, some of the most fascinating artists around. And this guy was just a self-taught, crazy genius living on a farm. I mean, it was a classic story. The dude was like a legitimate modern-day mystic, and I learned with him. And we just, you know, 
figured out that, you know, com communes really don't work. <laughs> <laughs> they don't work, man. You can't sustain a bunch of, you know, hippies on a commune for so long because everyone's going to start arguing. They want this and that. Well, let's see what we can do over five days. And the Floyd Fest represents that. And, and I think we've succeeded. I think the dream is alive agree, and well. You know? yeah. what, I mean, it, it, I absolutely agree as well. What was the impetus? Like, what was your kind of like, you know, this could work. What, <clears throat> we should do this. I mean, Floyd was a great canvas. It had the, um, the, the depth of uh, Appalachian culture, the old time music, the bluegrass music. It's a real culture. And, and living with him, I learned about culture. Obviously, music was the driving force behind wanting to understand, you know, how cultures uh, are influenced by their music and the music that they created. So Floyd already had like this depth, this wealth of history and music, man, that you could just kind of, OK, let me let me see what we can grow from from off of that. And it was a clean canvas. And it was right before the whole festival thing was going. But really being a musician as well, I said, you know, all my musician friends, no one knows how to run business. It's a nightmare watching a musician yeah. try to mostly try to, you know, do business. So let me learn how to do the business and let me provide a space for on the rise up and coming artists and treat our, all artists as royalty. Obviously, we have to have headliners to sell the tickets, yeah. right? But this is a space for up and coming artists. I know how, how hard it is to be a struggling musician. And right. when, when they come here, this is like an oasis, a yeah. respite, a springboard if they want to take their career to the next level. And, and, and that's something else that, that Floyd Fest does that you don't really see any other festival doing or even trying to model after, which right. is shocking to me. But, but with the On the Rise artists, dude, there really is that growing opportunity. And, and dude. that's something that's fascinating to me because, A, you see these artists grow, but you also – there's that growth in the festival as well. My 100%. first Floyd Fest was Floyd Fest 17. And even in that short time span, just seeing the growth and, and, and the community and, and, you know, people that I don't see every day all year, it, it really is like a living, breathing thing. It really is. It's a child. And it takes a village to raise a child. And Floyd Fest is now 21. And that's why we can drink cheers, guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I say we just keep him around to cheers. Well, we'll just keep cheering. We'll keep it rolling. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Floyd Fest... I, I can be a wild card, that's for sure. The first one I came to, I just came up, like, on a Thursday, and I had an old Jeep CJ, and I was coming from Fincastle, and I couldn't ride it on the highway, so I went every back road. So I saw Love all the communes and right? all these places. Dude, I, I did, too. I was, I was like, weaving and in it and it rained out on me, stuff. and I came up here and I had an excellent time. Right? So it's I've just a beautiful, safe seen. space, man. And, it, and it's funny right? you're talking yeah, for everyone. But you talk about thirty years ago. I was like, I was the businessman. I was a banker. I had Ooh. high and tight. No, just a mustache. A mustache. No, I was, I was, just I was, a mustache. Yeah, yeah there are mustache. pictures. He looks like an entire human. <laughs> I was president. Of the I'm always on the fence with people with mustaches. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I go I'm, one way or the other with the mustache. I was president of Chamber of Commerce. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm like, okay, something happened here. So well, a Finn Castle. Yeah. Wow. Bought a tot. Wow. So anyway, I got I, I quit my job at the bank and I started my own businesses and I did about ten years of, and then after about ten years, like ten years ago, I said, you know what, life's too short. I'm exactly. gonna be like I was when I was sixteen. Right. So here I am. No, I, I did that. Hair, cheers, cheers, yeah. cheers. Here we that was go. Number five. You no, know, it's, it's true. Life is too short, so man. Early at Floyd Fest, I really wasn't a partaker. But mm. now I'm like I'm fully involved. Right on. You know, I'm right in. on, man. I'm it's in. hard. It's hard to figure out how to fit into this crazy world. I was telling my daughter recently, you know, we're born. I mean, we're born right. We're all born, right? We're all here. We're all born. Right. And then we have all these challenges to fit in, and so society has these pressures to, you know, make us fit in in some weird way in someone else's dream. You know, it's like, wait, hold on, man. And then, and then we, then we, then we die. Yeah. And then we have to die, man. Okay, I got a well, cure for some of that. The, you know, the thing is, give something that rhymes with hug. I uh, never. Oh, give a hug. I, you told I me I couldn't hug. say that. I don't give a hug. You don't give a hug. I don't. And the thing is, you surround yourself with good people and do good things. And that's that's right. how you, That's how we get through, Absolutely. man. Cheers. Come on. Cheers. Five, five, cheers six, to that. Five. Number six. There All we right. go. Oh no, we did. We did five. That was when I said uh, we we, we got to keep. Yeah. Linda, Linda's keeping us on, on, on track so, here. We'll talk to Thank Lin God, Linda's here. Yeah. Thank goodness, Linda's here. Linda's been here for a minute, dude. A minute. All right. Okay, we're going we're going to talk to Lynn a little bit later. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> so let's rate these beers, gentlemen. Uh, Are you on Untapped, Chris Hodges? Have you ever heard of? I don't know why that was rating so formal. software. I, I can be. Uh, look, okay. <laughs> we'll pretend you are. I, well, we we rate for our now. Beers. I am. We rate beers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're Biden whispering. No. Anyway, he says. Hi, one, my name is Charlie. 
one to five, or zero to five, <laughs> point two five to five is the scale. So you can rate your beer anywhere in there. You can make this one right here. Yeah, I would say it's a solid five. There it's, you go. It's it's white claw baby. Yeah, white, white claw, claw baby. It's, 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 Which it's, flavor it's, did you have? I have no mango or mango. something. Mango, mango is a solid choice. That's, That's my a, favorite. It's a good one. My, my favorite. I stole that daughter? out of the back of a giant truck over there. Did you? Yes. You stole he, it? Well, guy he, security. He ran. Security. And they were like, yeah, we would have just shot it, it again. I'm not running anyway. Okay, Look what's going me. on here, man? Um, no, yeah. I steal shit out of here all, all the time. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> so I'm having the can of bliss, which unfortunately <laughs> doesn't have any can of bliss. I mean, bliss in it. Hey. But I give this thing a four and a half. It's great beer. Yeah, I like the cannibalists a lot. I'm going to get back to that truck in a minute. Can't go. I honestly probably would have given the mango white claw a five as well. Thank goodness. I'm like feeling weird here. Chloe, help me, dear. The, the, the three notch 40 mile IPA is is absolutely one of my go to's. And full disclosure, I, I definitely had quite a few of this exact beer last night and uh, got a five last night, gets a five tonight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, he's Huck's Beer Buzz on Untapped. He is. Doug Pritchard. Doug, Doug Pritchard on Untapped. On Untapped, and I am. Uh, <laughs> or he will be shortly. Big Nate Danger. I will be very sure. We're, we're going to go into some old Crow Medicine show, and then Bruce Day Tuesday returning on 105.3 The Bear. <laughs>